Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Audrey here. Uh, we talk about tiny leaf, a uh, tiny leaf hoya from the previous video. So in today's video, I think it's appropriate for me to introduce all my big hoya, the big leafy hoya. So let's start this video. Talking about the big leafy hoya, the first thing, uh, the first uh, hoya in my collection has to be this hoya curry eye. Uh, I didn't mention a lot about this Hoya just because it's such a big leafy Hoya and I have a hard time with my uh, carry eye um, as you can see it's, it's, it's dial off on, on my girl's point and shoot it out on a side shoot on almost everywhere um, I don't know how somehow I can just tip off and uh, break the tips on the growing point and it takes some time for it to side shoot uh, so it keeps growing so my growing pattern on this plant is a little bit off <laughs> because of that um, but I do uh, believe this is such a beautiful Hoya the hardship is the first thing that draw people into this Hoya and it's the reason it draw me into this Hoya um, I did not realize um, how thick succulent leaf this Hoya is and how much space it's gonna taking over with this Hoya so yes it's such a beautiful Hoya too um, some people might get tired of seeing all those hardship leaves but I do love it um, you can see how big those things are I do love it and uh, I do think if you have a space this is one of those Hoya that you should try it's an easy Hoya um, if you don't kill those uh, growing tips like I keep doing with this Hoya but yeah this is one of my big leafy Hoya The next on my Hoya, big Hoya list has to be this Hoya Abawada. Um, this Hoya didn't grow at all for in 2023 and I have no idea why. Uh, it has been like that for uh, more than a year already. There's nothing growing on it. Um, this might be the only girl's uh, girl, uh, girl's leaves on this whole Hoya Abawada. So I really don't know what's going on. But it's such a big Hoya just compared to the leaves on those things. Um, it can grow pretty big, decent size. So um, even though it hasn't grown too much on me, I'm actually happy because it's gonna take so much space. If this one started to flourish, um, I had to find some space for this kind of big Hoya to sit on my uh, small uh, plant shelves near my window so it can get some light. Um, this plant does love light. I can see um, it actually started to grow when I put this one next to my windowsill. Um, last time uh, it started to grow. So yes, um, it's such a big Hoya. Um, if you love the big leafy Hoya, this is definitely one of those Hoya. And the leaves texture is a little bit like succulent um, but yeah it's a beautiful Hoya uh, I'm sure a lot of people actually love this Hoya because of the the patterns on this leaf a little bit spa uh, splash on this leaf and the size of the Hoya so yeah this is um, uh, another big Hoya on my collections The next on my list is this uh, Hoya Macrophalia variegata. You might think I'm crazy. This is just a medium sized Hoya, but let me show you two leaves. One is right in here, and then there's another one next to it. Look at these two leaves. They are huge compared to my hand. Those two leaves are huge. So I do think they have potential to become a really big Hoya if you give them the right environment. Even this one's starting to competing with the other two so uh, I would consider this as a big leaf Hoya too uh, just for the potential to become a big leaf Hoya so yes here is the Hoya Macrophalia variegata the last on my leaf is this Hoya uh, Carnosa uh, Hoya Carnosa Crim uh, Crimson Prince uh, it's definitely not a big leaf Hoya except right in here this is the green part of the uh, Carnosa uh, Welbaprin uh, 
Carnosa uh, Crimson Prince that I uh, I separate from the other one uh, but uh, I just found out this huge leaves right in here compared to all the other leaves those leaves are pretty huge right here um, I'm not sure because um, there's all green leaves uh, um, Koya so Carnosa uh, Crimson Prince so they started going pretty big um, I do have some dry leaves on this Hoya so time for watering this Hoya I don't know, uh, but yes, uh, it can be. Uh, can, uh, this one definitely have potential to grow into be a big hoya. Yeah. So I will just add this to my list too. So those are my big leafy hoya. Yeah, um, because of my limited space, growing space, I really don't want to collect in such a, so many big leaf hoyas. So I had to deal with how, where should I put them. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you have any other big leafy hoya, please leave a comment down below or a picture so we can all enjoy your big leafy hoya. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy growing!